In Mozambique, the tension has reached a boiling point following the recent presidential election. The atmosphere is charged with emotions as opposition leader Venancio Mondlane becomes the focus of a police crackdown while addressing the public. With tear gas deployed against him, Mondlane's attempt to speak out ignites further unrest. Just days prior, two prominent figures from his party were tragically murdered, their deaths casting a shadow over the election results and fueling the anger among supporters. On October 21, 2024, as Mondlane stood in Maputo near the scene of the latest violence, he aimed to hold a press conference that would spotlight the blatant injustices surrounding the election. Instead, the police intervention underlined the severity of the situation. Even as journalists and aides scrambled for safety, the barrel of violence in the air seemed to echo the broader discontent festering within the community. Reports indicate that one journalist was injured during this clash, further intensifying concerns about press freedom in an already tumultuous political landscape. Earlier that day, a wave of unrest swept through Maputo and the neighboring Gaza province. As police moved to disperse protesters, those who dared to take a stand found themselves facing the same oppressive force that many now accuse of silencing dissent. Six protesters were arrested, while many residents opted to stay home, choosing safety over the potential chaos that Mondlane had called to confront. His appeal for a national shutdown resonated deeply, reflecting a growing frustration against what many perceive as fraudulent practices that facilitated the election of the ruling Frelimo party. As preliminary election results emerge, Frelimo's candidate, Daniel Chapo, appears to be extending a nearly 50-year grip on power, much to the chagrin of opposition voices. The recent killings, branded as politically motivated by Podesa, Mondlane's supporting party, have consolidated fears across Mozambique. The European Union, alongside the United Nations, has demanded justice for the victims and an investigation into these ominous developments, lending an international outcry to the urgent plea for accountability. In this rapidly evolving narrative, the hope for a peaceful resolution hangs in the balance, overshadowed by a potent mix of fear and frustration that now permeates Mozambican society.